and welcome to the Doncaster Rovers EAFC 24 Youth Edition. Yes, it's coming back. I can't guarantee how regular these videos will come out, but you know what? Let's get straight into it. You know the role by now. So, all the real players are transfer listed. Every single one of them. And who did it say was crucial? Oh, you are transfer listed. All of the real players are transfer listed. We are going to sell them all. Uh, I don't have mods installed to sort all that out. So, you will have to bear with me. I will look at getting some stuff sorted out. We do have players in the youth team already, 15 years old, we can't bring them up right now. But we have Umberto Gallo, a centre-back and a centre-defensive midfielder. 16 years old from Italy, 39 overall. Oh jeez. He is 6 foot 5. He is an absolute man-mountain at the back. Overall 39, potential 68 to 90. Welcome to the first team, buddy. Uh, Miguel Santos, 15 years old. I'm not going to waste my time. We will release him. I'm not bringing in any 15-year-olds. We're just going to get rid of them. <clears throat> then we have, is it, Zenek Novak. 50 overall. Potential 49 to 65. Oh, welcome to the first team, I suppose. And then we have James Cronin, a striker and a centre forward. 46 overall, he's 6 foot 1, so pretty tall. Nice to have the tall timber up top. Potential between 58 and 78. Welcome to the first team. Yes. I have already got youth scouts sent out. As soon as these come back, I've got the one out in England for nine months. He's going to stay out in England, but there will be... Artem Lep and Logan Haynes, as soon as they return, get down in the comments and let me know what country you want scouting, and I will send these two out to do that job. So we have Reggie Lees, a three-star experience, four-star judgment scout out in England for nine months. <clears throat> Artem Lep, the Estonian, has gone to Scotland for three months for any... Three star, three star. And then we have Logan Haynes. Send him scout. He's in Wales for three months. One star, one star. I don't know how they will get on. But hey, Beery. I have scouted already. There are three here. Not fantastic. But let's try and bring these in. Delegate to sign. Uh, I'll say £300 to, I don't know, £500. We'll do the same with this guy. Delegate to sign. Three, oh, 300 to 500 because that's normally what they want. So that, that'll do. Another striker. Do I really need another striker? But we're going to need the numbers, that's for sure. Uh, I know for a fact that the scouts aren't going to be able to return until the f start, well, after the start of the season, unfortunately. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to have to skip a couple of the first games of the season. I want a full first team. So, that's going to make it very, very difficult. And I'm not having five at the back. You can absolutely do one. That is not happening. We will have that, the 4 3 3 holding. And let's get our new boys in. We have Gallo. You are left footed. Okay. My mouse doesn't seem to be responding as well as it should. My controller, sorry. So that doesn't bode well for this game, does it? So we've got Cronin up top. We're going to have Gallo. I still can't believe you are 6 foot 5. Agility, 75. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, and, and then we've got Novak. You'll hear noises in the background. It's, you know, real life stuff. So we've got Novak. He's a trickster. 76 on pace. Not too bad. Acceleration, good balance, good sprint speed. That's about it. <laughs> So he's going to go there. So right now we only have three youth team players. That's not good. That really isn't good. We need more. So we're going to have to give them squad numbers. <clears throat> uh, 
so change kit number, you can be five. Where's the others? Novak, uh, 17, that'll do. Uh, Cronin, you can be nine. There we go, that'll do. That'll do. Oh, so it's not going to be fun. We are going to try and sell all of these real players. McShane has accepted. Let's accept that offer. Do we still get the weird glitch where they're holding a Real Madrid shirt and then a free agent shirt? I'm not sure, but we need these players in, that's for sure. So hopefully 51 overall. <laughs> oh, my days. I have ended all the lone players that were here. So there is that. Vision ex and expectations, it honestly, isn't going to matter. We are going to struggle. So, Radu at an impasse, okay. Radu did not want to join us. That's fine. £300 for Ravenhill. That sounds fine by me. Dead on his evaluation anyway, so I'm not really fussed. We do need to ship all these players out if we can. Conway, offer accepted. Conway accepted. That is fantastic. So Radu is the only player that did not accept to join us, which honestly, that isn't good. We are nowhere near, and we don't get our scout reports through until the first of the month. Radu, you make me sick, mate, honestly. He didn't want to join us, but what can you do, really? I mean, team management... <laughs> Let's get these players in the team. So we've got Conway, the right back. How tall are you? 5'7". Yet yeah, you're not going in centre back. <clears throat> then we have McShane. For... What? Can we get up there? Can we go across? Jeez. Why is that? There we go. Jeez. There we are. That's that one sorted. Ay, ay, ay. So we've got a lot of players to sell. Uh, let's just get the one with the most money. We're not going to do well in it, I don't think, because we are trying to sell all the real players. Radu, get lost. I'm not happy with you not wanting to join us. 475, you're roughing 480 for Ben Close. I will accept that. So we're going to have to try and build a team whilst selling out all of the plant. No, I... I don't want delegate. I don't want the money. I do not want player swaps. We're doing youth edition. We don't have those players here. Right, so therefore, it's a 590. We will take that. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. Hopefully these players do leave, and if you do hear the cat, it's because she's a cantankerous twat. And she wants food, even though she's not long been fed. Honestly, she is greedy. So, 480,000, we're probably not going to see a lot of that money, that's for sure, I can tell you. So, Faulkner transfer offer, we got one here. Beautiful, 350, he's worth 350. Great, swap deal, no, delegate, I want the money. I'm not interested in your dopey swap deals. We're trying to get rid of the player. Uh, row transfer offer. Let's accept it. 260 for a 34-year-old. Probably a good serviceman. But, unfortunately, this is youth edition. You know, we do have to get rid of all the real players. So, let's just skip these. Uh, let's just do quick sim. We lost against Olsberg 2-1, but... Eh. We've still got the majority of the real players in. I'm really wanting to get rid of these players. We've got one, someone out the door. There we go. Bobby Faulkner has gone for 350000 Thank you for your service. Louis Jones has gone. 300000 to Northampton. Beautiful, bringing in that money. Great. 
Cronin loan offer. Yeah, that's not happening. We are blocking offers for Cronin. Uh, we're getting 650000 for Carl Hurst. Very good player, but unfortunately, gotta go. Peterborough offered us 260000 We will accept that. Peterborough, uh, a few of the few through the years, have had some very good youth players come through their ranks, I've got to say. <laughs> I really am worried, though, that, you know, we're selling all of these good players... And we've not got that many youth players in. That's what really, really frustrates me. I mean, how many youth players have we got in? We've got Cronin, Novak, McShane, Gallo, and Conway. So, five. And we need a team of 11. Uh, so... These are the friendlies. We are just going to skip these. I mean, sh should, should be beating, should be beating them. But because we have the youth players in, Shrewsbury beat us 4-1. Are you taking the piss? Wow. I was not expecting that, that's for sure. Jeez. A team we should have been beating. So, Carl Hurst has gone out for 650000 Very, very good money, that is. Especially for a team in League 2. Hurst has been sold. Transfer offer for Taylor, 170000 I will accept that. Uh, Jay Maxwell, 470000 We will accept that. So, here we go. Let's get rid of all these. I say the first episode is normally the most boring and the most annoying. You know, because you're just having to bring the players in. And it never gives you a full 11 before the season. If it does, you are very, very lucky. Like, extremely lucky. Because normally, with your youth team, you'll get like five or six players, but you can't guarantee any of them will be 16 years old, so you can call them up to the first team. Maxwell went for a decent amount of money there. Absolutely brilliant. I can guarantee that we probably didn't see any, if not 10% of that. 170000 for John Taylor. He decided to go to MK Dons. <clears throat> but let me know, who are Doncaster Rovers' fierce rivals? You know, I would like to know all of this stuff. So if you know, let me know. So we accepted an 180,000 offer for Bottomley. Uh, Adam Long, we've been offered 430,000. Biggins, we've been offered 380,000. Garlo, loan to buy. Not happening, my friend. He is 6 foot 5. 39 overall, yes, but like I've always said, overall on this game means absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Molyneux transfer. 350,000. Dead on his uh, evaluation anyway. So we will hopefully let that one go through. So let's go into office. Go into calendar. And we'll have a look. As you can see. First game of the season. Is against Knox County. But it's on the 29th. We've only got five youth players. I don't want to play with real players. But only having five youth players. We're going to have to skip this match. And uh, on the 1st. Hopefully on the 1st of August. We will get the scout reports through. And we will be able to get. Fingers crossed. A full 11. Uh, for the team. Maybe some players will have to play out of position, but that's just one of them things. Adam Long going for 430,000. Fantastic. We are going to need some centre-backs and a goalkeeper and the like, so... Captaincy for Notts County, bugger off. Anderson transfer offer, we will... 275, we've been offered 360, we will accept that. It's going to be very difficult to try and keep the morale up. So, first game of the season, like I said, we've only got five 
players. So we are going to have to quick sim this one because we've only got Conway, Garlo, McShane, Cronin and Novak. But hopefully after this scout report that's coming in on the first, we will be able to field out a full first team. But you're, you're very lucky if you can get a full first team before. But uh, here we go. We should be getting the scout reports in the next day. So Harrison Biggins has gone for 380000 That money's certainly going to help. Ben Bottomley has gone 180000 Hopefully we can get some centre-backs, uh, a left-back. We're going to need a couple of midfielders, a defensive midfielder, definitely a goalkeeper. So Biggins has been sold. Ravenhill transfer offer. Uh, 300,000, 300. I will accept that. So let's get rid of that. And that and that. So here are the scout reports. So let's see what we managed to find in Wales. We found Burn Taylor. A young 17 year old. Overall between 42 and 56. And his potential between 52 and 70. Welcome to the youth team, basically. Uh, we've got some good players here by the looks of it. We've got Jack Ewing. We will do it this way, and then what we'll do is what we'll go into the youth team and do it that way. You are too young. We will reject it. England, Harley Hobbs. Jude Dunn. Daniel Terry. Austin Middleton. Felix Davis. Okay, let's see if we can get a full first team. We've got a goalkeeper, one centre back. Ay ay ay. So the goalkeeper is wow, well, he's six foot six. Daniel Terry, forty three overall potential between sixty two and eighty six. Welcome to the first team. We have Jude Dunn, five foot ten. Oh. Not that tall, is he? But he can play in midfield. 50 overall, uh, 47 overall, sorry. A potential of 50 to 66. We've got Harley Hobbs right back, 5 foot 7. 56 overall, potential 57 to 77. Welcome to the first team. We have Barry Montgomery, CDM and centre mid, 5 foot 7 from Scotland. 34 overall, potential 61 to 81. Welcome to the first team. We have Austin Middleton from England, 40 overall, potential 52 to 72. Welcome to the first team. Uh, Burn Taylor, 17 years old from Wales, 49, over, no, 49 overall, <clears throat> potential between 52 and 70. Uh, Dave McLeod, is it McLeod or McLeod? I don't know. Uh, 55 overall. Potential 45 to 63. That does not bode well. Uh, Jack Edgar, the young 16-year-old Scottish lad. 47 overall. Potential 52 to 70. We then have Felix Davis, 6 foot 2. Tall timber again. Uh, 47 overall. Potential 62 to 82. Welcome to the first team. And then we have Jack Ewing. 46 overall, he's 6 foot 1 again. We've got some tall timber up top. Wow. Uh, potential 63 to 87, 60, uh, 46 overall. So we should now be able to field out a full team. Alright, so Miller. Do we have a left winger? We do. Edgar. Can one of you play on the wing? Mmm, it's going to be Edgar then, I'm afraid. Uh, McLeod. You've got 77 pace. Jeez. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Put Terry in between the sticks. Uh, we'll have McLeod at... Actually, 
Can you play... Oh, you can't play on the left. We need to train McLeod to be on the left, then. You're right-footed. You're right... Of course, you're both right-footed. Uh, Ravenhill for... It's got to be Taylor. And then Dunn on the right. Conway as the right back. The left back needs to be Hobbs, unfortunately. And we need the CDM. It's going to be you. There we go. We have a full first team. And we have subs for the bench. Not many of them, but we've got them. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that, Mr. P, you sponge. There we go. Let's go up. You can't play CDM. Uh, 75 pace. Hmm. I think that is it. So that is the first team. <sighs> For now. So the current first team is Terry in between the sticks, right back of Conway, left back of Hobbs. In the centre back positions we have Garlo and Dunn. Five foot ten. I'm really worried about that. And uh, cent central defensive midfielder is Montgomery. Then we have just above him Taylor and McShane. Can we get on that? There we go, McShane. Uh, on the right wing, we have Novak. On the left wing, we have McLeod. And up top, we have Cronin, as six foot one Republic of Ireland lad. And not bad at all. So let's advance. I am going to play the whole match. We're not skipping all this, that, and the other. We are going to do the whole match. Because that's the way the short fat man rolls. Uh, Anderson sold. Transfer offer for Miller. Swap deal. That's not happening. Delegate. I don't want swap deals. There we are. Let's advance. So, for the second game of the League 2, unfortunately we had to skip the first one. But we lost it. 2-1. I believe it was 2-1. But for the second game, we are going to be taking on, is it AFC Wimbledon? I did name our stadium, and for some reason it still says Molten Road. It shouldn't have done. We're at home. I did name the stadium. The Eco Power Stadium. Well, the E Power Stadium, because it doesn't let you put that many fucking letters in. Which is bloody annoying. Uh, what do we need to do? Taylor and McShane aren't happy with their positions. Why are you whinging? You're a cam. Oh, can we get across? There we go. Um, move you... Can we move you up a bit? There you go. Be happy with that. Uh, you're a cam as well. Uh... Now oh, he's happy with that. There we go, that's sorted. <laughs> Just push him forward a little bit. <clears throat> so, this is going to be the only game of this episode. We're going to get in, and we're going to try and get the three points. The Ruffin was 590,000. He's only worth 475. Very good player, though, he is. He really is, but... We need to figure out who our captain is going to be. By the looks of this, it's probably going to be... I don't know, we could always say Garlo, because he's really tall. Uh, maybe Conway. Uh, just do Garlo. That'll do. That will do. Gallo will be the captain for now. Until we figure out who's actually going to be the better player. 
So there we go. In between the sticks is Terry with Hobbs on the left, Conway on the right, Garlow and Dunn centre backs. Just above him in the CDM role is Montgomery. Oh, in the midfield, spacing above him is Taylor and McShane. Up top on the left is McLeod. On the right is Novak. And up top as the lone striker is Cronin. Let's get straight into the game. I know I'm going to screw this up. My controller has buttons at the back. And I keep knocking them. So uh, that's going to be fun. I'll probably have to open my controller and just rip them out. Because it's just annoying. So here we go, straight into the game against AFC Wimbledon. We are at home at the Eco Power Stadium. Just how will these young lads do? So here's Conway, Montgomery, McShane to Dunn. Here's Garlo, captain for the day. Good ball there. Here's McShane. There's Taylor, long strike. Zanev there with the push away. Steve G, as you can see, is the manager. He decided to come back. So let's swing a ball in. McShane with a good ball. Cronin. Oh, jeez, that was a dreadful ball. Conway, close down your man. Get in there. Oh, Novak just does, wasn't able to keep the ball at his feet. Oh, come on. Surely is that our throw in? It is. All right, to Montgomery. To Taylor. Oh, here we go. Here is McLeod. And a chance. And Cronin shanked it. Good chance gone big in there from Cronin, and he absolutely scuffed it. The overall <laughs> of these players really shining through. These are very low rated players. Oh, geez, I can't even get a tackle in. I'm trying to remember the buttons. Good ta tackle there from McLeod. Oh, is this a ta chance for Taylor? Grr, come on! Taylor there with a goal. Absolutely beautiful first goal for Doncaster Rovers. And Taylor is the scorer, the number 25. Absolutely beautiful. Is there a, If there's a player on this game, in this team, the, well, for Doncaster, obviously. If you want to give them a squad number, let me know down below what squad number you want to give them. Yeah? So if you want to change a player's squad number, put their name in the comments along with the squad number that you want that player to have. Obviously, if a player's squad number has been taken, well, I apologise. There's no I can really do about that. Oh, done there. Good there. Good tackle. Good tackle. Uh, Taylor, waiting for runners, mate. Hobbs! Oh, good save there from Sanev. I think it's Sanev. Silent T. If not, it is now. So, here we go. Let's try and make a chance. Uh, McShane going to swing the ball in. Cronin. Oh, here's Novak. Just take a shot. Uh, you're not troubling the keeper with that effort there, mate. Not troubling the keeper whatsoever. So we are creating chances. I do like that. Low rated or not, we are creating the chances. So Conway, get in there, mate. Get that man marked. Uh, and you literally... McShane, you walk straight around him. Get in a tackle. There we go. Good tackle. Here's Cronin. Power strike. Palm save there from Zanev. Cronin, he looks like an absolute mountain up top. And that cheeky strike. What a cheeky clip. Novak with the ball in. It'd be nice if we could actually win a header, lads. Come on, Dunn. Get there, mate. Pass back to the... 
I was going to say pass back to the keeper. Thank you. Alright, so here's Terry. To Dunn. To Conway. Oh, good ball through. Conan. Conan. Cronin. Is the play you'd, you'd really want there, but. I will shut my mouth. Taylor with the goal. <laughs> okay, okay. I was not expecting Taylor to be making those kind of runs. Good ball in from Cronin. Taylor with the head of their keeper. Sanev really needs to be doing better in those kind of situations. We find ourselves 2-0 up. Taylor the scorer. Two for Taylor there in today's game. We are going to have to up the difficulty. You have to be careful with difficulty though. Because FIFA, rather than making it harder, they literally just cheat. Oh, here's Novak. Waiting for somebody at the far post. Here's Taylor. Oh, he was looking for his hat trick. Good ball in. Taylor with a strike, but absolutely shanked it. The boys are playing well. I think I am going to have to up the difficulty. The only thing with FIFA, EA or FIFA, it's just a reskin. Is it? I'm not going to lie. I pressed the wrong button and he took a shot. Do you know when you press the button to, ta button to tackle? It's the same button. But I miraculously got the ball, and he kicked it. I did not mean to shoot from there, but Cronin scored. <laughs> I'm going to hold my hands up. I did not mean to do that. But a good goal there for Cronin shows that he does have the power in the old pegs. Peg power. We're definitely going to have to up the match difficulty in the next episode. Because... Uh, well, I can't say we shouldn't be dominating because we are playing well. But this group of players sh shouldn't be winning 3-0 before half-time. You know what I mean? Uh, it's Cronin. Oh, you screwed that up. Can he do another long shot? Oh, Sanev with the save. Cronin, though, being sneaky, trying to get that out it's out outfired. Outside. outside of the foot shot. Let's see what one McShane can make from this. And again, dreadful. Let's recycle it. Oh, was what, hoping to get the ball in through to Hobbs. But there we go. Halftime whistle has been blown. And I have to say... Absolutely brilliant. Match facts. We've had 10 shots. They've had none. They've had 21 passes attempted to our 45. Pass accuracy of 100 for them, 86 for us. We've had six tackles to their three. So we do deserve this right now. I mean, we're playing really well. So don't change your winning formula, I suppose. We will have to check on uh, how fitness is, of course. But uh, can we pick a cent centre mid? Gallo, strong legs. Gallo again. I do believe Gallo is the lowest rated player on the team. Oh, Cronin just muscling him out. Sees a play being made. Novak! Oh, yes, get in. Saw the run on the right-hand side being played from Novak. Absolutely gorgeous. 4-0. We should not be winning this game 4-0. It is ridiculous. Good ball in. I saw the run being made on that wing. So let's just have now a quick look at the players. How are we doing? Oh, we have some tired legs. So, Edgar, we're going to play you on the right, I'm afraid. Um, physicality from Davis is 71. So we will put Davis on. And McShane has had a good game. Conway is tired. We don't have anyone for him. Uh, McShane, you played really well so far. So we will bring Middleton on. 
E-Wing. Uh, are we able to bring E-Wing on? We are. That'll do. There we go then. Those are the changes. Let's see how these other new lads get on. Uh, to just fresh legs. Middleton there. Lofted ball over the top for David to chase, but he just didn't get to it. Come on, Dunn. The defence has been good. Montgomery there. Closing that pass down. Airwing. Taylor. Oh, Davis doing well. And a strike from distance. Zanav there. Having to be quick on the draw. Middleton with a quick snapshot from distance. Slapped on the old right peg. I tell you what, I bet that hurt his fingertips. I'm telling you right now, that must have hurt his fingertips. Hit it efforts! Just over the bar. That was a good ball in. It did well to get the initial head to it. Just not on target. Not on target. Get in there, Hobbs. Nice. Taylor. Get in there. Nice block out there. Sees a good run being made on that right-hand side. Too much on it. Having to recycle it. Edgar! Strike from distance. Edgar there. Just with a quick chance. Trying to catch the keeper off guard. On the old right peg there. Very, very unlucky. Wasn't far away, was it? Wasn't far away at all. So here we go. Get in there. There's Middleton to Taylor. Sees that Hobbs was making a run on that left. Sees a good run being made. Headed effort from Edgar. And Zanev with the save. We are piling on that pressure. So Taylor to take the corner. What can be made of this? Absolutely nothing. Ewing, why wasn't you chasing that ball down, mate? Oh, he gets in there. And Zaza, wait. Wait. The damn cat, so impatient. Headed efforts! Oh, Montgomery! Very close. Unlucky there that that didn't end up in the back of the net. Oh, we've got the ball. Davies just waiting for help. Skipped across to Middleton. The ball's in. Middleton scores. The ball was beautifully played across the middle, the, the middle to him. Their defence right now is absolutely shambolic. We are cutting through them like a hot knife through butter. Look at this. Step over, step over. Slapped with the old peg in the back of the net. Look at that. Absolute gorgeous. That's what you like to see. Beautiful shot there. But like I say, if you want to change any of these players' numbers, put their name and what kit number you would like them to have. Looks like Taylor is... Uh, Taylor and Cronin are the ones to watch right now. Oh. Taylor, mark him, mark him. Good there from Taylor. That's what we like to see. Come on. Good lofty ball in. Davis. Zanav there. Can count himself very, very lucky. defensively we've done really well the lofty ball over the top can Taylor get there nearly he nearly got there Ewing lofty ball over to Edgar. Ah, oh, he just couldn't get the control, could he? Couldn't control the ball at his feet too well. Plays it back to Terry, the goalkeeper. 
Here's Gallo. Oh, dirty tackle. Did manage to get the ball cleanly, but still. Gallo, look at him. He's like an absolute mountain. Good luck trying to deal with him. Oh, good ball through to Davies. Looking for a run on the right. Whip. That was a dreadful ball there from Davies. Oh, here's Airwing. Cheesy. It's offside. It won't count. Oh, I made that run just a little bit too early. Very, very unlucky. <laughs> So there we go, final whistle has gone. And Doncaster Rovers come away 5-0 winners. Absolutely beautiful there. Good day at the office. 5-0. So what have we got? Uh the a first display from Harley Hobbs. Does that encourage you to try more? I'm always ready to give young players a chance. Uh, Airwing. A first display from Jack Airwing. Does that encourage you to try... Is he going to say the same again? I'm always ready to give young players a chance. Stevie G knows good young talent when he sees it. But to come away with a beautiful win there. Absolutely gorgeous. I am going to up the difficulty. Slam an AFC Wimbledon. 5-0 uh, <laughs> shouldn't be happening. It just shouldn't be happening. But there are the players. We'll go through them again. So if you want to give a squad player a number. Or a squad change number. Then... Let me know. We have Daniel Terry, the goalkeeper. We have Jude Dunn, the centre-back. We have Umberto Gallo, an absolute man-mountain. We have Harley Hobbs, the right-back. We have Ben Conway. We have Barry Montgomery. We have Austin Middleton. Burn Taylor, what can I say? What a player. What a player this lad is. Only 49 overall. But boy, he just absolutely dominated. Then we have Owen McShane. Dave McLeod. Jack Edgar. Zedan Novak. Felix Davis. James Cronin and Jack Ewing. Those are the players. If you want to give one of those players a change of squad number, put their name and what kit number you want them to wear. But I hope you have enjoyed this one. If you did, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, slap that notification bell to get notified of any new video that comes on the channel. Till then, have a great day. Stay safe, and I will see you all in the next one. See you all then.